What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. I just wanted to talk about this supposed situation we have going on with the M855 or SS109 projectile slash cartridge restrictions that we might be having coming down. So there's a rumor that we're not going to be able to get any Lake City overruns of military 223 slash 556. Maybe more things from them. They make a whole lot. Federal used to historically be running this plant for a long time, so you used to have Federal Lake City cartridges all the time that we would get. Now it's going to be Winchester Lake City. But the whole idea behind this is that about 30% of our ammunition, of the 223 ammunition in this country, supposedly is overrun Lake City that gets dumped out onto the U.S. market. Well, supposedly, there's a big no-no with that now. Um, I don't know if it's 100% true, but supposedly they're not going to be allowed to dump that out onto our market. People are getting a little upset. There's been a lot of videos made. And although I do agree it's a bad situation, again, it's one more paper cut towards us. I don't think it's the end of the world. They can only do so much when they attack one specific little part like that. Our gun community and the whole manufacturing and just logistical system, the every component that we have in the whole gun world, it's much more than just one little item at one ammo plant. That's not a big deal. Projectile makers can kick it up. There's many of ammo makers out there. Federal's been making this ammunition forever. They know how to make it, so Federal can just take over where Winchester can't, I believe. Like I said, you have projectile makers that will step up to do whatever they need to do. We are actually depending more and more right now on all different kinds of 223 and 556 ammunition. I don't know too many people that are running out there to go buy green tip at the inflated price that it still is. It's one of the most expensive ammos out there right now. It's always been one of the more expensive versions of the ammo. And truthfully, it's not that great of a performer. I mean, it's arguable. We can, I'm not going to sit here and argue this all day long, but most people will be sufficient with any Full Metal Jacket 5.56, whether it's weighted to 62 grains or not, with a core or not. But the LAP, or Light Armor Piercer, that the green tip is, it's really not even that a great that great of a performing round. So no real big loss, and I don't really think a lot of people are using it. Does it suck? Yes. Is it another paper cut? Yes, of course. But I don't think we should freak out. Check your favorite websites. If you feel like picking up an extra case or whatever, do it. But I don't think we should panic. Someone's always going to fill a void. Right now we're going through just a whole lot of musical chairs with void filling because between the primers and the powders and the projectiles and the completed cartridges and the whatever, everybody's got to keep playing games to try to keep us supplied. It stinks. It's not getting better anytime soon, but hopefully, eventually, this stuff all straightens itself out. It's hard to believe that it's going to be forever that the ammo situation and the gun situation is just going to keep going bonkers. It usually settles down from time to time, but we'll see this time. And we also have to look at the possibility that this is just straight up fake news. Could be fake news by accident, or it could be propaganda. It could be disinformation. For some reason, they might just want to create a panic. They love to create the panic in our circles. But more than that, remember, the military just changed over to a whole new caliber. This is a military ammunition plant. They've already said that they're going to have to retool, they're going to have to ramp up production on this new caliber. So maybe this is just part of the natural process of backing off of 5.56 and moving towards that new caliber. Of course, they're going to not have as much overrun because they're not even going to be producing it in the same quantity. They still do have to produce it, but they have to do something and retool to make their new stuff unless they're going to make an entirely new plant. Or unless they have a section of the plant that's just been sitting there waiting to be used and empty, which would make no sense. So this could all be a little bit of disinformation slash misinformation. Try to keep this one brief. Until we see you next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep shooting.